Hey, this is Ronda Rousey for the Athlete Library. This is Ricky Lundell, my uke. And uh, this is how we start judo with Osotogari. My first throw that I ever learned, your first throw that you're ever Okay, so I'm showing it left-handed first. If you are an MMA fighter and you fight orthodox, I recommend you learn left-handed from the beginning. If you only do judo, do your strongest side. In judo, your strongest side is forward, left-handed, left leg forward, right-handed, right leg forward. So this is a traditional grip right here, right at the collarbone and right here at the end of the wrist, okay? You always wanna have the person's wrist to the outside Turn your pinky up like this so you have a table to lean on. We'll get into grips more depth later. And your, your lapel grip is right at the collarbone here. You're squeezing with your pinkies. These are pretty much just dead limb fingers, okay? You're always squeezing here. So, the traditional grip is the hardest to throw from. That's why we learned that first. So, I'm going to get my traditional grip and I'm stepping at a 45 degree angle. All throws are going to 45 degree angle. These 245s or these 245s? Osoto is to your back 45. I'm going to be stepping in the direction of my throw and pulling at the same time. Okay? My hands fold into my face here. So if he goes away, I'm just coming here. We say a lot that we're looking at the watch while telling someone on the phone what time it is. So my lapel hand comes up to my ear and my sleeve hand comes up to my face and I'm looking at my wrist. When I started, I used to have to get watches drawn on my hand to keep remembering to look at my wrist. So if you wanna draw a watch on your hand, it helps. I'm stepping with all my weight when I step. I'm not 50-50, all of my weight's on the front foot. So I, couldn't, I can lift this leg. If I have any weight on this back leg, it's gonna be very hard for me to lift without falling backwards. So when you step, here, hands in, 100% of my weight is now to my right leg. Once my weight's here, notice how I have pulled him with my step. All of his weight is on this leg. The way we throw in judo is we have to take out the supporting leg. This is the leg that has all of the weight. If I sweep this, he goes down. So I step, I pull my 45, my hip comes through, and I'm gonna sweep down at his ankle, here. I don't want to sweep up high. Think of it as pushing a door open at the doorknob or at the hinges. Push with the doorknob down here. I step, I'm pulling at the same time. My hip comes through, I'm sweeping at the ankle. Now, as my heel goes up, my head will go down. I stay in a straight line. Here. That's a Sotogari. Now, here are the particular little things. There are lots of them. So, we're still just on the traditional grip. We're stepping and pulling at the same time. These are not separate steps. These are simultaneous together. Now, I'm stepping as if I'm gonna be going through and kicking a soccer ball. I'll move this for a second. Don't worry, you're not gonna fall there. I'm not coming in short and coming behind his foot like this. I'm clearing him with my hip, as if there was a ball there and I kicked it, okay? Don't make fun of my kicks. <laughs> so it's as if I'm sitting here and I'm kicking, and then this moment, the momentum of my kick, I'm gonna bring it back. And as I bring this leg back, the shoulder comes forward. See how I said these are a straight line? When I hook it with my leg, this comes back, and it's whipping the shoulder forward like this. That's why I hold my hands up here, because it's my core that throws him, not my hands. Once my hands come in, they're sucked in. My hip come in, and look, as my leg goes down, my shoulder drives down. And that's how a throw should look. So, first you get your grip. 45 degree angle step, while pulling. Hip comes through, sweep at the ankle here. As my leg goes up, my shoulder goes down. Your 
you're supposed to fall on them. My mom would yell at me for doing that. So that's the polite way to do it when you're training because you have to protect your uke. If you're a big old bitch, like I like to be sometimes. Oh my God, no way. You fall on them. <laughs> so this is how you're supposed to look. You step through, you pull, and you put all your weight into them as you're falling. This is a great position to be in. And imagine if we were on concrete. It'd be rough. He's dead and I'm on cushions.